Now, you went inside, you took one paper and pencil and write on A, B, C, D, and brought it over. Ah, boss, this is good. And bow point. From that, on, that day on, the first week of January 1927, Baba left the body and I board and upset and started the board. This. So, so how did you uh, meet Baba? How, how did you meet Baba? Do I have told you that? No, I, never. I, never. My dear friend, you know, all right, I can have told you, I don't mind to repeat it. But this is boring for you. It's very boring. All right, I'll tell you. You must be knowing that myself and Baba were cousins. My mother and Baba's mother are sister. And we used to live near each other. Baba's house, the old house, you must have seen there be big stone, round big stone. There house, there's one middle, one house. There's some parts you see. And next to it, we used to, I used to say, we used to live there. And naturally, we used to meet each other every now and then. Although I was nine years younger than Baba. Baba was older, nine years. <coughs> uh, what Every time Baba used to, every morning Baba was together, we used to go to school. Even his, every morning, morning at five o'clock, he used to get up. And he used to sing in praise of God. Nice song, and he has good, beautiful voice yet. And you see, a oh, loud voice, and no one bother, no one complain. Why you are bothering or sleep? Why you are your sleep? No one is to see, and everyone enjoying sleep. Although in bed I was a child, but I like that. You know, I was very young, but I never saw. Although world, you know, you couldn't get the word. But the boys in the song we used to like me stranger. Also neighbor, they were Hindu or Parsi or Hindu or Muslim or Hindu, but they never complain. Why are bothering our sleep? Disturbing our sleep. No one complains on the contrary how oh, the fiber everyone is singing now. This is a time signal for everyone. And said so that in our family Everybody came to know he was too intelligent and very kind, mild. And any anybody get angry or fighting each other, he used to come and see something. If any misunderstanding in the family member, something about they used to wait till the Mehran come from school and they used to say, So Mehran says something they say something there, something this happened, that happened. We used to hear both the party, made friendship again, asked them to embrace each other, forget everything. It was so. So this way he got respect also and love from everyone, from the men. Not that of that, slowly this woman went to neighbors. Neighbors are Hindu, Muslim, and they came to know. They used to, if they misunderstood among the neighbors or something, they used to wait till the he comes from school. The Lord please come here. See the neighbors, this is the other thing. Then he used to ask both the neighbors, may I keep friends, he used to give good advice. He's a very intelligent, so he can go good as a so very good judge he was. In school also, this way he began, became friends. So that time also, I told you that day, when I, when we used to go to school, in our school, there was one hour, I in Zorasan school I used to go. So in one hour I was there, in our tuition, uh, religious subject. So our Zorasan language we used to tell about the Zorasan life. When the Zorasan life was going on, so I, had to, I was taking interest. And I was, I was annoying. So, very lucky those people were there at that time. They were, they used to see Zorasa there physically. They were near him. How lucky they were. The relative were, his, his son and wife and all that. How lucky they were. They were with God, with them. And how unlucky they were. We are hearing now all this thing. Young and his 
Krishna. If we had Sarasa, we would have seen that we are unlucky. At that time, I was thinking. When the time came, you know, we are passing, we put the Sardar Casino straight down our head. Right. So, third time is that in the nine, age of seven, nine, or eleven. We did the date any year, not after eleven, before eleven. I don't say in the age of seven or the nine or eleven. They would put this date. So, we, when we came in age, myself and my sister Naja, so wanted, my mother wanted to put the thread, the ceremony. So before that, we have to learn some prayer by heart. So, how to tie every knot we have to put, the thing, we have to say, say some prayer somewhat. So, instead of okay, engaging some priest with teachers, so Baba asked Baba. My mother asked Baba. What? Why do you teach this boys? Also, Baba used to come and teach myself Naya. So, from there... How old were you then? About seven, eight? Nine, about nine, I think. Yes. Naya was about seven, I think. Was it, Baba hadn't seen... Baba John at this time, had he or had he? I can't say now. No, I don't think. No, I don't think. No. But at the time, what my mind working, that time when he was teaching us this thing, and every morning I used to hear his song, I think if Nirvana becomes worse, how nice it will be. <laughs> That, that really, time, you had that real, thought? Really, that thought came because every day in the class, when that subject used to come out about Zarsa, something about Zarsa. My, my mind was, I was not the thing all the My mind was working. How lucky those people were. How unlucky they are. We can't see Zarsa. And now, when he was teaching us this thing, that time, so no, so Zarsa, Baba become Zarsa. How nice it will be, how nice it will be, lucky we will see. That thought passed, used to pass. Whenever Baba used to come to teach us, that, that thought used to come to me. Because I used to learn those and I've been in school, and here Baba used to be teaching us prayer, so that thought used to come to me all the time. And after that, after the I forgot everything. Because Baba becomes worse, and then I don't know what, <laughs> but that time I had no idea. And you know, those times, those friends, the school friends, he, he opened his school, Cosmopolitan uh, Club in his school. So we all the mix, Hindu, Muslim, Pakti, a member of the club. So in the school also, all the people, bigger student also small, younger one, they used to respect. If they fight among them, they used to come to him. No one sees this boy fighting. And he had one one boy, one Christian, Catholic priest, one boy. He was strong boxer, nice. And he used to be near Baba all the time. If anything else, come on, tell me, I will give him my son. <laughs> so he was all the time with Nirvan. Anything, come on, come on, tell me, I will give him a box. And I said, wait, wait. So he was well furnished. So this way, the few months after Bhavajan, he contacted Bhavajan and began to go to Maharaj, Saiba and all the places. He used to say some of the Monday, some of the, not Monday, the friend. They used to put his round, uh, hand around his neck, come on, run and go. They used to call me, come on, run and go this way, we'll do this thing. They used to say, come on, come on. He never said no. He sometimes he used to give lectures, talk, discourse, he just discourse, some advice. So they liked very much. So the young man, although, although they were elderly, some of them very elderly people, but they liked his talk. How nicely he talked. He used to say something from a phase of this thing, and that thing, he used to say something. There was a Persian man. He came from Persia, he stayed in there. But, and Baba used to go to school at that time. When he came to he knew Persian very well, Baba. So he wanted to learn something, Persian. So he came to Baba. Please teach me Persian. Baba is 
slowly, slowly, when you learn alphabet, then you open the Hafiz book. Hafiz. And so from Hafiz you see something. You translate. Bad man, you know. Then he became his disciple. Same as you, an elderly man, and he, came, he was doing business, big business, business, and he became his disciple. But at that time, what happened? There was an ordinary man, Nirvana, they used to call him. But the Benoist would take him to Maharaj, somebody. Then they came to his own Maharaj, they also come to him. But in 1921, I think, when Nirvana last went there to Maharaj, and with him, few Monday, few, not Monday at that time, friends, men with him. And there, Mahama Maharaj told to all, why do you come to me? Don't come to me. Yeah, yeah I have given everything to him. He pointed out to him, Baba. I given them, them. Go and follow him, go with him, stick to him. Don't come to me. Then the Mandi, that um, friend, thought, no, he is not like us ordinary man. At that time, they were thinking just as Sadhguru, Upasama is Sadhguru, he must be Sadhguru. Not as Avta. No one thought. At that time, we also never thought. He must be Sadhguru. Uh, we turn now, Baba said, he is like me, Mother, I have given everything. Now follow him. Don't come to me. And stick to him. As soon as they came home, Pune, and now they were there and they are staying at that house in 19... 21. Yeah. And that time they, they decided, there was one moment in Bawala was Monday, he said, you know, from now on, they now left now, they putting their hands around his neck, come on, pulling him, come on, they are like, we do it to each other. Now, they began to stay from long distance. So, uh, they now came to know what Mahas told us. Then they said, now from now on, we won't call him Nirvana. His name must be changed. Not Nirvana, say it or anything. Say it with boss. No. no. We will call him Mir Baba. In moment Baba, they call him this thing. We will call Baba, Mir Baba. And they are Baba. Baba they are objective, bro. Baba. Before Baba this talk was over, Baba they kept quiet and this thing what is going on. And from then on the name was changed from Miran to Mir Baba. And then before then he left his home and went and stayed in the outskirts of Pune. He made a hut and the hut he stayed there. And few months he stayed there. He, then all the money began to come, Adi, Saro. I was Padri. Padri and I was the beginning to And from there, Baba took them to Bombay. One of the men, man who gave them name, they they were transferred, they were service governors, they were transferred to Bombay. Then they said, come on, why don't you come to Bombay? We are missing you. So Baba went there. And they engaged in Bangalore. And there then, Bangalore name was given Manzile Mim. Mim, you know, M. Mohammed and M.M. Baba gives them mentally men. And life started. And all the. When, when, when did you come to Baba to stay? To, to uh, live with Baba? Mentally men. Mentally men. No, no, but you, there must have been some time in Pune when Baba was at the hut there. Huh. But when <laughs> at the time when Baba was in hut, at that time I was not in Pune. And that time I went to Quetta. Uh, Quetta, you know, now in Pakistan. First, not divided, India, India was not divided. That time, Quetta, so their government father, they were saying. I went for a change there, I stayed there for one or two years there. And as soon as I came to know, when Anja came there with someone, uh, some uh, several relatives some came. So his brother's wife, you know, they went there, so his brother and his wife, and they came. The Naya also went there. So the wife went there? Then so brother. Oh, oh. Uh, and wife, they saw, and then I just came there. And he, she and her mom and her dad, but now they call him Mir Baba. He's now no more, he's going to Bombay. 
I immediately left the place. And as soon as all went there, Mandir I went there. First what happened, no one was allowed to go into see Bob also. The one watchman was kept, one person was kept. And when I went there, first I went to Saru's sister's house. I kept my thing there. And I said, I said, come there. The girl's father gave me some money. He said, to purchase it from some Bombay and bring it back. After you go, I said, go and come back. I told him that. I didn't tell him that I'm going to join Baba. He they don't know about Baba. I said, I said they gave me some money, some purchasing for the shop. I came with them, stayed there, kept it there in the South Sister house. And the South small, younger sister was a small, no one was there. Uh, out, one small, young sister was He said, where are you? I said, do you know address? He said, I know address. My brother is there, so he's come, he also come with Baba. But no one is allowed to go there. So he did not come out. And then one Pathan escaped there, watchman. And he was like, you too, you won't go there. Then no one is out. I said, don't go there. I went there. When the, on that day, that watchman was out. Or she or something. My father was there. But as soon as he saw me then, but he was not allowed to speak to me. No one was allowed to speak to each other outside. So he went inside immediately, in from Baba. Pindu has come. And that time I knew he was not Pindu. But he said, but he's come. Baba said, send him inside. As soon as then, my father signed me. He didn't spoke to me. But before he, he came out, I saw Padri him. So he says, but no, these because as soon as my father went, they had a meeting or something. They were in the hall with Baba. But as soon as Baba asked him to go, so as everybody came out, but I saw a party, but they turned up and said, oh, what is this? They don't know me. What is this? The animal, anyway, he has that. My father didn't talk to me. No one's talking, what is this? Then my father wants you. I went there. I bowed down to him immediately, first step in life. Well, in the beginning we never used to bow down to him. I bowed down to him. He embraced me. Why I said came I heard Naya told me about this thing and I I left everything. I came here. You want to say yes? I said yes. We all like who is it? I said it's me when there was one sermon also sent me. The Pathan was there with me. And he's sitting out, called him. Go. And I, I told him, you see, give me the eyes. The father gave me some money to purchase this thing, shopping, all this thing. And so, no, give the money. Give the man, for the man, give the money. Ask him, you purchase, you go, you don't go from it. And my thing was, well, don't worry, I'll get this some and other brother, the man, so, takes his money and go there and Sarah's so, so, uh, so sister's husband and tell him, he, or, uh, I got the lease for you, give the lease, then purchase, keep the accounts and then you take it away, he's not coming. And, and send his uh, bell and begging everything here. Now I, want, I order not to leave the place. <laughs> I'm all I do get my things. No, 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 no. nothing to so stay there. My thing is that money was there, everything was there. So I explained that someone couldn't know, and he didn't know the place. How to return to that place? First time he was coming to Bombay. So anyhow, the one of the money went there and she said to our ticket, and I'll show him, instruct him how to go and how to reach who. And I don't know what happened. Do they took away money and what they did, I do. Only I know that in the evening I got my thing back. And you just stayed there, you didn't leave? Mm, up to here. Yeah. Yeah. Baba left her, the man you see. Oh, well, not he didn't left her. He's hiding. No, oh, he's somewhere hiding, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I 
I remember one point, and that is, once Baba rang the bell, and we all went to see why Baba called us. Then Baba said, now today we'll go to Valki. Valki is five miles south of Mehrabad. There's a uh, marketplace. Every Monday there was a cattle marketplace. So Baba said, let us go to Valki. We all follow. It was about eight or nine o'clock. And there, when we read after, after some time, the Baba said, I feel hungry. I want some something to eat. Go and beg in the village and get me some food. So all of us, though company, two of each went in one, one lane. So we separated ourselves and we went. With me, there was one moment. And we, on him, on his head, there was a face cap, red face cap. As soon as the woman used to see, because all the male members of the family went in the field to work, and the women were cooking the food to take the food to the male member. But as soon as the woman used to see there, see us, they used to close the door. They used to the moment and someone is coming, and something wrong. And some is to, some is bold enough to come uh, near and give us something. This week, when we all collected and we came after half an hour, Baba gave us some, some time, come within half an hour. We came back, some collected little, some collected more. Baba mixed all these things in one place, and Baba received to each Monday, and he himself took that, the food, and Baba, while we are doing this thing, Baba sent one of the men who was staying with him to go and fetch tea. There was a tea shop there. The, the tea brought, and we also brought the food. The tea wala came and he recognized Baba. He made a row in Baba. He didn't say anything to us. He went into the money, went there, gave us tea. In the evening, when the women, men folk came to home, return home, then the tea told everyone, Ki Mirva was here, they were begging food and this. And the villagers came to know. They went and asked their wives, how do you have done here? Did you give me or not? Some said yes, yeah, some said no. They had a call among themselves, why did you give me? Mirva was here. The, the next morning, all the villagers came to Baba. Baba, we are sorry, we didn't serve you. We had no idea why you came as begging. You should have informed us. We were very glad to give you some party at this thing. Please come, do come sometime. Tell us, we'll arrange something. Baba said, I'm happy with you, what you have given. I'm very happy. Do my work, I came there, returned. Don't be anxious, go happily. I'm too happy with you all. Because everybody knew the road is there, from uh, Valki they go to Nara, they pass there from the road. And they used to see the, all the activities was going on there. And they knew about Baba also, all the schools, hospital, and learning. And Baba came there to begging, means too much for them, you know. And they couldn't serve properly to Baba. For that they were. With Baba, in Sataya. Oh, so I broke my pelvis, my leg, my head. Since my head injury, I lost my strength. No, I can't speak. My head, tongue is gone very heavy. So I can't speak properly. So I told him, please, why do you spoil your tape? You won't be able to hear me. Don't waste your, you take somebody else. I missed him and he said, no, come, I can hear, I can follow the tape. I don't mind, you will lose your team. <laughs> but first hear me then. No, no. Don't lose it. Nineteen fifty four, yes. There was a big meeting. Ah, the Western also Indian, one thousand Indians and few Westerns were there. They were kept up on the hill, and down the hill um, were the Indian. So, uh, you are taking? 
1924, Baba first called me, and we were singing Sartar at that time with Baba. And Baba said, we are going to have a meeting, Sabas, what is Sabas? Um, we have to go there and we got in there. Baba said, what month? Baba said, September. Baba said, please, don't take that month. Give me November or December. It was September always rainy season, and in the beginning, if the rain fails, the September is there, sure we can say something, some few drops. Well, so don't. This is a field, I know. I get the field. We haven't got the hard ground. I get the field. We have to. So that's a, it will spoil everything. So I request, Baba, oh, please choose some other month. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is definitely now I'm not going to. First, he gave me the date, 15 September. Then I said, no, was the boss, all right, you said, 30 September. Baba, what is the difference, Baba? Give me number, Baba. So what happened? Western also came. They were given time, they came. On 30 September, something, some program was given in Vardia Park in Nagar. So the Mahas Darshan program. So all the round of village in Nagar, the village, all the so many thousand people came there. The Western also was there. Uh, Gargi Maharaj came, Saint Gargi Maharaj. He also came to Tibar Dasan, he was there. So there was no way. Then on the last day, and what I did, I said, Baba is order me, I can't force Baba to change date now. I request him twice or three times. He refuses. I must go on. But I must see that good arrangements should be made. Because Baba won't like the Baba lovers will be suffering or you know, rainy. So I made arrangements. Instead of cloth tent, I take the uh, corrugated iron sheets. Corrugated iron sheets. Tent. And I made arrangements that. So I in another you couldn't get it because I have purchased you to get higher and higher and give back. So I couldn't get the so much things because for a thousand people arrangement means so much big players arrangement. Then I went for table and chairs, for lying table and chairs. Because always we used to take sit down on the ground and we used to take food. But I think we can't we won't be able to take on the ground. Season, so I must take table chairs. And what I was sleeping, so I went one one place and tried to get cots, one thousand cots. I mean, that is impossible. One man I coaxed him and me, I asked him to make bamboo or something, you know. So he took the contract, he said, I will do it. And it was done. In the last moment, only very few days left. One or two is left, and 200 cards were less. 100 or 200, I don't remember. It was less. Then I was struck now. How can I do now? They are coming tomorrow, they are tomorrow, they are coming. Now we are I went round, I went to Saros, I went to Adi, everybody, please help me. And they were against me. Why do you make such enemy? Very expensive, and why do you go like this? Do as usual before we used to sleep on the ground and we do why do one court when we sleep for two or three days? Let it be like before. I said, Oh, a rainy season, I won't know. Yeah. So I no one corporate, even Padri, uh, these, all those. I don't know. I was adamant, I said, I won't know. Then, anyhow, then I, in some hospital, I went there. They got new furniture. From there I picked up. Anyhow, I managed. I got new cars on high basis, 200. And last moment I got it. And I was happy. Everything is going on normal. Till afternoon is all right. And now that day on 38th, the, um, the lover began to come So the train and the time was given. At that time, the buses were there. Our buses on station were there. And as soon as they landed on the bus and started, heavy downpour, heavy downpour. So heavy downpour, flood was. 
And so I was lucky because I had a thin thread or roof, a sleeping arrangement, and hanging table, and all the cord was there. So one thing or but still, when they came down, getting down from the bus, it, unloading their luggage and taking the time, this is water, in the rain is there, pouring, pouring heavily. And I was stuck in a water room, we were running here and there, and anyhow we managed. And Baba came to know, Baba was staying here, and Baba came to know, okay, then he's there, and <laughs> I was fighting with him, okay, don't give me that. Baba said a good note to me, don't worry, this thing, that thing. He sent anything pills for a few hours. They, 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 would, they, are the, Baba won't get the cold or fever or anything. He sent some pills, thousands of pills, you know. He asked Adi, purchase from the market and sent to print immediately with this note. And in the note was a give every pill. Baba was to each. You go and tell them to take Baba said, they won't get cold and this thing, and serve them. And in the morning when Baba came, Baba met me, don't worry, I'm happy, this thing, this thing. And I was very anxious. And Baba and Baba see if any Baba lover were in the discomfort, not comfortable or anything, any thing, and Baba will take me to well, What to do? But as no one said, Complain, Baba, Baba, I say, everybody collected, and Baba went there. My head, how you all right, this thing, cold, anything, fever, sleep, and Baba, we are happy, everything, all right. Then Baba gave a nice lecture, you know, gave discourse tonight. When you come to, to master, and this thing happened, and Baba gave a long talk, you know, nice talk, and we were happy. So, uh, when they got sorrows, I think when they came, you know, our had soft window. Because when we, we were against you, why you are making this for me? I said, why are you are doing? We I know Baba won't like his lover with discomfort when he, they come to see him. So they must be comfortably kept. So it was my duty to see that they are comfortable. Otherwise, Baba won't like it. So I must see. So I thought, you know, the September, although it was the last day of the September, but still there was September. So I said, no, I won't take this. So I've done that thing. Didn't you ask Saroj to, to get 200 cuts from well, the... I, uh, I asked Saroj, please try me, help me, because the military camp is there. They got spare, you know, because the camp is coming, they got spare, thousands of spare cords there. Please try me. Saroj said, no, I don't know why you are mad, gone mad. And let them see me down. What is there for two days? They, they are coming for Baba Allah and Baba Sikh and not enjoying. They are not coming to hotel or Sikh. Let them sit. Then, after, then he went and asked for a phone to Brigadier and asked them, Brigadier said, I'm sorry. The other camp came and they came in all the engaged we haven't gone to spare. So, but they also tried, but no one. They were also against, but still they never tried. Uh, I managed all around. I said, no, I won't give up. I didn't give up till the last moment. And I got my card, I got table chairs. A table chair I went to for Saros, Adi, and other Adi's brother, Dinsa. I begged him also. No one had me. He said, yes, we are all mad, crazy. What are they doing? In Naga City won't get. But I got some other place. Once uh, we were begging new life, North India, we used to go to the villages. We used to walk, walk our way. We, when we used to rest, and there are three in the morning, in the evening, the Baba used to send us, go and beg some food from the village. We never, so many villages we went. In one village I remember, we used to go to a nice house, rich people, and they, some some refused to give us anything. Oh, yeah, go, you are so healthy, we have water, we go and work hard. Ah, yeah, go work and earn your food while begging, get away. 
one one place, one some hidden woman, entire woman they call in the village. Poor woman, hidden woman. So that woman she was so poor. He had nothing, she had nothing. But she never refused us. Please wait. He knew there's something wrong with him. He waited. He requested, please, we don't go. You know, we don't bother if we are going. We are going. We began to move. He said, there are two, three boys. They were guiding us. This house is good. Go and this is back here. So they, when we went there, he said, don't go ahead. This is here. Don't go. I said, no, let us try this house. We want to see that person, you know, how the poor people, they got love to give. And how the rich people. So this contrast I'm giving you. The rich people, nice people, they, they don't care. But this poor woman, hardly anything to eat herself. But she refused to, refused to go away. She said, wait. She went to a neighbor's house. She begged there something, some floor or something. Please give me, I will give you to one. I'm hungry, give me something, I will give. She loan, taking loan from her. Some floor on the side, and we were, so we were watching her. We want to see the mind of the poor. So she brought it and gave it to me. And when we stood by our see, the day got love, you know. With love, with respect, they were, just like we are obliging her. While giving, she thinks that was very, because we didn't left her, we were accepting my food, because I am her young. No one touches us, and you are begging from me. This is too much for my father. Begging from a hidden woman. The outcasts, they, they, they say outcasts, they don't touch. And from her taking food. So she was thinking so obliging her. So for that, she says, please wait. She begged food from the other place. Loan, she take a loan from her. Please give me five hundred. And we see in another village, I saw one man. When we went there. This was in the new life, right? New life, huh? in new life. I'm talking about new life. I went back to one place, one man was there. He, as we were passing the village, we went to one big, uh, just a courtyard or something. We knocked there, and they refused us. It was all right. And opposite that, one man was there, coming out from his room and locking his door. He begged him. He saw his, he waited, then he put his hand in his pocket to give some coins. He was a very poor man. He, some coins to us. He said, no money. He won't accept money. Any food, stale one, anything, raw, any, food or anything, stale anything. Uh, we said, money, we, we don't touch money, we refuse money. Then he thought and said, he opened his door. There was nothing there to give. He had nothing to eat also, he had nothing to give also. So we watched him. He went there, he, two, three things, you know, he opened him, something. And from something he brought it. And he gave us. Some coconut or some, you know, some, something brought her and gave us free time. I thought, that's too much for her. Thank you. So, this way, opposite, you know, one opposite, you know, big of landlord, big courtyard, big, and he said, go away. And here, this man, he had nothing with him, only a few pair coins with him. He wanted to part with that. But we, then he went in the room. There was nothing for him also that to eat. So he from his like it as if he some tea in his open some tea boxes and something got in and tea. So we used to see differences between the rich and the poor and how that must Mind. 
India to stay with Baba. As soon as he passed his medical course, because he wanted to come earlier, Baba, he met Baba in France, he wanted to join Baba Sino first, finish your course and then join me. Yeah. And then he joined in India. So after he joined me, uh, one month or so after one month, he got caught from the uh, British to because he was British here. He was Englishman, British. Mm. So there was a war there. Second World War started. So he was caught. So he didn't want to go. He said, I came to Baba, I left my home and everything. I came here to join Baba, stay with Baba. And they want me, I won't go. You want to, I will do something. I won't go. Then he asked Baba, they call me, I don't want to go. And they call you, must obey your government. Go now. No. Uh, Baba, I came to stay with you, but I don't want to go. I left everything. Baba said, I will see that you won't go from India. You won't leave India. You will be seeing me every now and then. Uh, and, uh, <coughs> We had it. <laughs> the Baba said, all right, I will see that you won't leave this India. And same thing happened. He joined, and because he was a doctor, he was kept in the prisoner camp. Italian prisoner was brought, and he, he knew Italian language. So Italian, uh, Italian prisoner was kept in Amanara. I in Bangalore. So it was near. So he stayed there. Throughout all the war time, he was in India. Every now and then he used to come to Baba. He used to go with Baba to must trip to somewhere. Every now and then he used to come. And he and whatever peace he used to give to Baba. Whatever money extra extra money he used to give to Baba. And stay coming going. He never left India. Baba said, you never live in Indian soul. You will be with me. So he stayed with Baba, he joined the service of Baba. So, because Baba said, you must obey your government, you must go now. But you want to stay, I will see that you won't live in India. And he stayed all that. Every time you go near him, you won't live. I don't know what is doing. And she, she used to say, she was a male, she was male speaking. What she, she was a woman. Yeah. But she won't address herself as a woman. Who? What? Baba Jan was telling somebody, she said, one man is telling to another man. She never called her Sarah as woman. Did you go see him? Did you go oh. see Baba Jan? Oh, yeah, I did every time. Well, uh, how Baba how did you carry on? Ah, very nice. Very future in her head. Very beautiful. I used to go, I remember, <coughs> we, I used to go with my uncle. I used to, when I was poor, I used to go to school. Before Baba, we knew Baba is Baba. And at that time, Baba used to tell us, go to the yes, so going to see God and all these things, go to us. So we used to go. Every time, used to burn, uh, because at that time, Baba John sometimes used to get wild, used to hit somebody, throw a fire, restore anything, abuse. Every day, a male abusing the woman, anybody, male. She was just a male. And she was a big angry. So the crowd went, they, they see the Baba, and Baba moved his anger. The angry crowd was away from her. When she was quiet, they used to go near her. <clears throat> so I, was, I was young, so I was afraid to go also sometimes. <clears throat> My mother used to go and go. Once I remember, with my friend, I went to cinema. In city, where 
First Baba Avaya used to <coughs> stay in the city. And she used to come where now I the camp, she is under a tree. Every morning she would come and the evening she would go. And they used to pass from her house. So I used to see her when she used to pass from her house. I used to go with her, walk about a mile, about two miles with her, and come back. Once uh, with my friend, school friend, three of us went to cinema. And that cinema was near where she was staying, staying under a tree in mosque. There was a mosque there, and also there was a tree, and one cord was kept for her. She was sitting there. Once, uh, when I went with my friend to school uh, for a cinema, come on, let's go. I said, come on, nearby, Bawaja is there, come on. I was telling about Bawaja. What, what I heard from Baba, I used to tell them. Just I was so expert and I know everything, I used to tell them. Uh, how about this God, this thing, and then we come on, if we go near him, he will help us, this thing, then we have to tell the boys. The boys are like, you are mad, and this is a mad woman, see, everything, everybody is eating, and this is mad, who is that God? And come on. When we went there that evening, that time, boys and bed was kept on the roadside. The bed was removed from the tree and it was kept there. And that time, she was sitting on that, and she was there busy. Everybody crowd was scattered around the sun. She was always there busy and busy. Then those three fellows, then from inside, I was afraid of how to go here, how to approach her. And I, I was both bossing, both even the boys. I was saying to the boys, come on, I can take you, come on, don't afraid. Come on. But now when I saw the seed, I myself was inside, I was afraid. I made up my courage now to show this voice. Now I'm something, so I went slowly here. As soon as I went there, Paul was come, he put my, uh, her hand over my head, come on, bacha, bacha. Oh, child, come on, sit here, near her bed. Huh? I was a little bit. From inside, uh, some ego came to my heart. Uh, so everybody is kind of a ball, telling me. So I saw my friends. Come on, come on. Come on, you also. They were afraid. So one came near, but afraid to approach Bawaya. Yeah. 